people rushed to the hospital after a gunman opened fire right through their front door. Good evening and welcome. I'm John Brown. And I'm Luann Sorrell. These pictures show that door riddled with bullet holes at the home in Marion County. Fox 35's Marie Edinger shows us how the quick actions of police help save lives. We typically think of police as going after criminals accused of different crimes, but they do also help victims. In this case, police had to render medical aid to people who'd been shot. In the middle of this door at the Parkside Apartments, we counted six bullet holes. There's some damage near the window as well. I was halfway dozing off. And then once I heard the shot, I jumped up. The next door neighbors asked not to be on camera, but said they were happy the bullets didn't stray any further. They said they were home during the shooting. I never would have thought nothing would have happened, you know, staying next door to someone. Ocala police say a man and woman were both hit, but will both be okay. That's thanks in part to an officer who applied a tourniquet to one of the victims to help slow the bleeding. Well, our officers are trained in different medical um, practices. They can do CPR provide Narcan and the officers also carry tourniquets in the event where someone needs one to help save a life. Police say no one else is in danger as a result of the shooting which officers believe was targeted. We want to let our community know that um, this is an isolated incident and our detectives are working hard to uh, find out who this person is, who's, who is responsible for this shooting. Still, neighbors can't quite shake the feeling of fear that looms over the complex. I'm feeling okay. We feeling okay, but it, it's still just kind of scary. We kind of um, shook, shook up just a little bit. Police do have some leads they're already working on in this case, but even still, they're asking for the public to reach out if they've got any tips about the shooting. In Ocala, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.